Hey, today I'm creating a crown for a mermaid. And that mermaid is me. <laughs> so I have some things that are from my garden and a few things that are bought. And what I wanted to do was try to create what the seafloor looks like. Like if a mermaid had a garden, this is these are the things that you would find in that garden. I don't have actual waves, but I have this hydrangea that's blue. So you get the idea. Starting with my hydrangea. This hydrangea has been so fascinating to me because every year it's a different color. Um, <clears throat> it starts out this really pretty blue color and then it shifts to sort of an aqua and then turns green. And I've been able to dry it those different colors. It's been really fun for me. There's some construction going on in the neighborhood somewhere and I apologize if it's annoying. It's annoying to you for the 10 minutes that this, that this video lasts. You can imagine how annoying it is for me all day. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get some of this different spots around my head. <clears throat> and I love this lichen. Looks like coral. Oh, that is so fun. I really want it to have a sort of a prominent place so you can see it. Make sure it really looks like it's flowing in the water. Oh. It's coming apart. It's not going to get much more flowy than that. That's perfect. Now I have <clears throat> this Lunaria. And Lunaria is usually um, admired for when it is completely dry. You can kind of take the seed pod part off and there's this shiny underneath. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. I love it when things like that happen where you aren't really expecting it to be that amazing and then it just works. It works for you. So already I feel like this looks mermaidy. This is enormous, <laughs> but Chrysanthemums look so much like sea anemones. So I wanted to at least do one. I'm experimenting a little bit here. Let's see how this looks. Perfect. Wow. That's really fun. I'm gonna add more of my blue. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cough. I apologize. My voice sounds gravelly. <laughs> Some more to this. It doesn't just doesn't seem like enough is on there. That's better. I love how this lichen is sort of a sea foam color as well. Then I have these poppy leaves. They 
remind me so much of coral. California poppy leaves. So I wanted to get those on there. Less is sometimes more. Okay. And I got from the store, I got this Euphorbia. And I've used this so many times in my artwork as um, seaweed. Because <laughs> it just grow, it grows. It looks like it's flowing in the water. <clears throat> what I wanted to do was somehow get it to look like it's doing that on my head. Just like that. <laughs> Here. So I have this sedum that grows in my garden that also looks like seaweed. So I thought maybe I'd fit that in there in a similar fashion. I also have some estilbe that was originally pink and more fluffy, but it dried out a little bit in the sun. I think that's really pretty. So then one of my favorite things that's going to go on this crown. These are currants. Don't they look like pearls? They're so pretty. What I'm hoping to do is get it to look like strings of pearls, or even, <gasps> they kind of look a little like fish eggs, but that works too. that oh. I look like a, um, a like an ecosystem <laughs> under the sea Okay, I mean, come on. That's so pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some more of these now. And they'll be so much easier to stick in. Now that I have larger things. <clears throat> Now, I think that I could just leave this as is. I think that the color scheme is really pretty and I love all the shiny bits, but I wanted to add some brighter colors because under the sea has tropical fish and bright colored corals. <clears throat> so I have these poppies. 
I mean, even starfish can be this color. The very first floral art that I made, before Instagram existed, I was walking through my garden and I saw one of these poppies. And I th thought it was a goldfish. My brain told me it was a goldfish and I thought, no, that's not. I must have been tired. But I brought it inside and I drew the body of a fish and I used these as the fins and the tail. That was kind of the beginning of Flora Forager. This pink one. Like the color of coral. This one especially is like the color of coral. <clears throat> you know, like the red kind, <laughs> not the white kind, obviously. <clears throat> I'm just sticking these in. I would, if I was gonna wear this for a long period of time, I would cut the stems. Pretty. So pretty. I don't want to stay. Stay. That's so fun. This is a double poppy, and doesn't it look like an, um, a sea urchin? That's perfect for this crown. I wonder what a mermaid would think of poppies. She'd probably love them. I want to add a little more blue, just to the front here. There. It's like a coral kingdom on my head. <laughs> I love it. There we go. So that's it. It's my mermaid crown. I wish I was a mermaid. Thank you.